I have come to realize that most institutions that we trust, that we respect, that inspire all other entities have a common attribute. They have a clear vision and they have illustrated that vision in a mantra and slogan that they associate themselves with. And this constant association of this mantra is, uh, is an immediate guide towards what they would like to do and even when new entrants come into the organization it's very easy to elaborate what the organization stands for because they have a clear mantra very many of us recall our kindergarten nursery primary high school mottos because it's something it's something that was repeated and almost stuffed down our throats for us to align by this particular mantra there it's usually you can alto aim higher study and pray in god we trust determination and success like there are different things that a particular entity would like to align itself with and usually even when people are giving a motivation in that entity they'll always run back to that mantra to give them guidance on how best they can actually speak to a particular group of people and this is not a mistake. It's actually a, a proven tool for us to remember who we are and what we stand for. Sadly, very many of us do not have personal goals, do not have a personal vision, a personal motto that we can always refer back to when we need a reminder of what we actually stand for or what we aspire to. And having gone through different moments of uncertainty, uh, feeling lost and feeling unsure of what I would like to do, where I would like to be, what I should focus on. I realize that there's something that is inherent in every pursuit I have. There's, some that, there's something that I would like to aspire to no matter what, wherever I go, whatever I choose to do. There's a particular goal, a particular essence I would like to personify. I believe that each and every one of us must actually find out what is that particular aura that I would like to ooze when somebody looks at me. In fact, put aside looks from other people. What is that saying that I would like to live by as a person? Nobody may even know what makes me tick. People will wonder why you are who you are, why you, there's, a, there's, a kind, there's a kind of consistency in how you present yourself. But it's because you have something that you live by, something that you measure yourself to, something that you compare every single step and decision to. And also something that when you fall short, you have this light at the end of a tunnel that guides you towards a particular direction. And sadly, very many of us do not have that particular slogan or reminder. And we tend to get lost, as we all do, but it takes longer for us to find ourselves again because there's nothing there, there's no rope that we can hold on to really quickly to steady us while we find our footing so recently i was going through a bit of a bit of a funk and i was i was quite um unhappy with various things and in the midst of that unhappiness i realized that mariam i need to have something that i aspire to not just the ever elusive goals because once you achieve this thing another one comes once you get that particular thing there seems to always be an extension of how far we can go and sometimes that constant quest for something elusive can be draining however when you have a mantra when you have um when you have a saying a slogan a motto that you can live by Whatever you do, you can always just regroup and focus on this particular thing because you have you have found something that you would like to embody in, in anything you do. So for me, in that moment, um, having this particular thing that I look towards is, has helped me to just focus even more. I was, I would say I was focused before, but now the kind of focus I have, I feel is even more precise in a particular thing. And this is my mantra. This is my motto. This is my personal movement that is going to, that one is mine, but is also going to be reflected in every single thing I do. 
So for me, the ultimate habit that I am building is simply embodying habitual growth. That's it's it's very simple. It's something that I completely understand and I utterly and inherently aspire towards. Now, why did I choose? Why did why did I settle on embodying habitual growth? One that the word embodying is in a present continuous tense. It's something that, it's something that I'm going to continuously do. I will not reach a point where I have arrived and I can settle. No, I'm going to continuously be on a quest towards personifying habitual growth. To embody something is simply to give an expression of an idea or a feeling and make it tangible in one's life. For us to manifest and incorporate particular things that we hold valuable in our day-to-day -day life. When I embody something, it's visible in what I do. It's visible in how, how I, I associate. It's visible in how I speak, how I respond to particular things. To embody something is to become one with something. For you to fully embrace something. And I'd like to completely encompass myself with habitual growth. Now, why, why habitual? Why not another word? Something habitual to me is something, something that is done constantly, relentlessly, incessantly, unceasingly, all the time. Because like I said, this, this is something I would like to continuously aspire to. So when something becomes habitual, it's, it becomes automatic in you. Whereby a point will reach and you do not have to stress, you do not have to overthink work so hard or stress yourself stretch yourself too thin to actually do something once it becomes habitual it, it means that you have consciously and deliberately pursued something to the point that it becomes inherent within you it becomes something that you do almost without thinking it may even appear to be easy by others or by those who are looking at it from the outside looking in but once it becomes habitual, it's something that you do constantly, that you do persistently, that is a routine for you. And I'd like to embody habitual growth. So growth, as we all know, is a process of increasing, developing, enlarging, evolving, and expanding. So I would like to constantly aspire towards growth, towards improvement, towards evolution, towards expansion and progress i do not want to be the same each day we all have our weaknesses i know i do but if i embody habitual growth i'm going to personify routines practices behaviors that will lead me towards progress and that is what my mantra is so whenever i am confused as to what as to what i should do whenever i am low whenever my alarm rings and i am snoozing once twice i ask myself mariam is this really embodying habitual growth you, you said you want to embody habitual growth is what you're doing truly embodying habitual growth so for me having something having something that i can refer back to not not just a specific activity that okay i want to wake up at 5 a.m no i do not i, I do not evaluate myself anymore on specific activities i evaluate my behaviors I, I evaluate my 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 mindset i evaluate my approach my way of thinking the way i am pursuing something am i doing it am i doing it half-heartedly am i completely a must in what i am doing can i improve and this doesn't mean that i do not fall short no it doesn't but at least even the times i do i am very aware of how low i am falling because of the standard that i have put for myself so i truly believe that we all should take a moment and figure out what is the particular mantra and slogan that we would like to live by what are those two three forwards that we would like to aspire to the ones that we can evaluate ourselves on and we can always refer back to when we are lost find that anchor that can always direct you to the surface when you're drowning.